I want to talk my, to my people. In the course of 24 hours, the Netherlands denied entry to two Turkish ministers. Turkish officials refer to the Dutch government as remnants of Nazis. Protests broke out in Rotterdam, Istanbul and Ankara. Turkey threatened to impose sanctions. Many are asking why the diplomatic feud is happening now. The timing of this crisis has raised some questions, as both countries are heading to voting booths soon. With parliamentary elections for the Netherlands on March 15th and a referendum on whether to shift to a presidential system in Turkey set for April 16th. In an interview on a local television, Turkish Prime Minister Binali Yildirim has claimed the actions of the Dutch government were politically motivated, saying, quote, it seems the Netherlands has internal issues. General elections will be held on March 15. We think what we have been through today because of this election is based on internal politics. Some experts believe campaign strategies on both sides may have had a part in the dispute. Yet some say the consequences may be unexpected as Turks eligible to vote in the Netherlands could have an impact on election results. Türkiye'deki bir iktidar olmuş bir partiye bir miting müsaadesi vermeyerek belki taraftarlarından az da olsa bir e, oy toparlamak e, gibi bir hani yola geçmiş olabilir ama Avrupa'da yaşayan Türkler onların bu yaptığı davranışlardan dolayı gidip öbür partilere desteklerse dimyata pirince giderken evdeki bulgurdan olmuş olacaklar. Bence burada e, bu işin bu diplomatik krizin galibi Türkiye oldu. The Turkish government on Sunday promises to retaliate in the harshest way possible and some believe may use this crisis as an opportunity. Türkiye'deki e, gerilim e, Nisan'daki referanduma kadar düşmez. Yani bir ay boyunca bu e, gerginlik devam edecek. Çünkü bundan e, referanduma evet demesini isteyen, Türk vatandaşının evet demesini isteyen iktidar partisinin yoğun bu şekilde bu mağduriyeti dillendireceğini ben tahmin ediyorum. Politically motivated or not, if one or both sides doesn't take a conciliatory tone, this crisis could certainly damage ties further. Mikhail Bardavid, CGTN, Istanbul.